Welcome back, everyone. As we enter the final hour of our program, it's almost time for our second discussion of the day. But first, I want to ask my colleague Shafira, have you ever made a collage? Do you know what a collage is? Yes, uh, like you pass, you know. Put it together into yes. one. Of course. You've until, done it. Even until now. I'm journaling oh, really? and I put the pictures uh, nice. to it. Yes. Exactly. I I that still using the scissor, I put it. Yes. Yeah. Most people just write in their journal. Right, no. uh, writing and also I put what? something to to get more visual about what I wrote. So, uh, what about you? Okay, last time I did a collage, I was 11. <laughs> it was a long time ago. We had art classes uh -huh. and they would uh, one of the things we assignments we got to do was collages. Uh -huh. Where, But at that time, we were only using either newspaper or magazine. Yeah, uh, yeah, still. We yeah. can have an uh, easier source to get uh, to get the source to That's right. make a collage. But now you can do it online. Oh, is that right? I don't know. Oh, Use wow. the apps. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Ah. Well, anyway, so if you're not familiar, <laughs> collage is a form of art that is made up of overlapping pieces mm. of uh, paper. It could be anything from photographs, textured paper, or any other types of mixed media. So let's further discuss this form of art with an Indonesian artist and curator, Ika Fantiani. Welcome, Ika. Thank Welcome. you so much. <laughs> thank you for joining Very us. And thank nice. you for thank you. Uh, bringing all of your <laughs> Right. So, yeah. you're, you're a curator. What exactly is defined as collage? Because I'm seeing different, like, uh, the collage that yeah. I've done is nothing like this. Can you tell us a little bit about what is covered under collage art? Okay. I think, uh, as like you said earlier, that I think one of the earliest memory that we have regarding the collage is when we can do doing all this paper with origami paper, yeah. with yes. this scissor, and yeah. just like sticking it together. Yeah. Well, in actually, in a very simple way, actually, it's as simple as actually we assemblage or stick this variety of different kind of visuals that we found that we found to create a totally new compositions of art right actually collage is as simple as that oh okay yeah. do we do we need a, uh, like a specific skills to do that to make an art uh, that's a, using this term that's a very good question because i think what i found about so interesting and empowering about collage is actually we do not need that mm. very specific uh, knowledge on art making okay uh let's say Compared to, let's say, painting, painting we have to know exactly. like, the number of the brush and everything mm -hmm. while in collage, as simple as like paper, scissor, and glue. Oh. And There's then, less rules or boundaries. Yeah, and then less intimidating, right? Uh -huh. And yeah. much more welcoming <laughs> yes, for, yes. for us who feel like I'm not that creative. Yeah. I don't have that, you know, um, artistic background. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think that's what's oh. so good. Basically, about I'm it. horrible at drawing. So, and I so basically, draw. you have draw. to <laughs> have the love for the paper. Yes. Because you, you actually you yeah. work with paper. Right. Yeah. The pattern, the yeah. texture. And yeah. then you have to like cut it in the right, right. Uh, yeah. their line and everything, and yeah. you put it all together. Okay, ah. wait. Okay, so let's let's take us through it. Um, walk us through the process. Like mm. when you want to make a collage, mm. do you already have an idea of what you want to create, or is it more like are you are you kind of exploring on the fly? And what, what's the process first? If you know what you're going to create, do you have to create an outline first, for example? Just take us through it. Okay. Uh, this is a very interesting question because I've been creating the variety of collage. Mm -hmm. Let's say if I, s I make them for a commission, mm -hmm. like people actually ask me oh, to okay. make particular piece of art, right? Yeah, yeah. For the home, for mm -hmm. the gift. Mm -hmm. They usually like give me some keywords and some particular colors they want. or like, like A guide almost. Yeah, or like I want to have my photo, for example, mm -hmm. in the collage, for example. Oh. Or I want to have this particular mix of color because I love this color so much. Then I'm going to follow all those expectations, like rules that they wanted. Mm -hmm. At the same time, if I'm the one who wants to make the art, like I'm the one who make the collage, I can we start with as simple as the found visuals that I found uh, in front of me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's say, oh, yeah. this is a very interesting uh, key visual. So let's say it's a woman with a baby, for example. Yeah. So I can build a story in my head okay. around that visual, and I know how to place and arrange it in this collage composition. Okay. Or as simple as I found one particular materials like. I love to use um, wallpaper scraps. Okay. For example, I found wallpaper scraps with this texture is very interesting. Yeah. yeah. And that's particular kind of oh, you know glitter yeah. and the t yeah, tonality, right? Yeah. So I can start with both. Either start with the material first or with the story. With the yeah, first. I have in my head. Oh. So basically, you can mix all the pictures of probably the texture, the patterns, mm -hmm. and then you can create a story. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's interesting. I never thought about that. I just 
I thought it was just you just take on the like a white paper, <laughs> yeah. you do that yeah. with yeah. your pictures and the story you write you wrote something. Yeah. The next I think, the picture. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's no, what we do in our journaling, college, right? Our, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I do that too. Wow. But I think if it's in terms of something like let's say you want to have an exhibition, you have this particular yeah. message, right? Mm -hmm. I think usually like it starts with the story first. What is the story you would like to convey in the piece? Mm -hmm. And they could start with the materials. Even the materials is a story, right? Yeah. Even our used magazines as story yes, yes. so yes, it can yes. start from that oh, because the philosophy yeah. is found image yeah mm -hmm. that's and I, I think it's uh -huh. uh, one thing you can do in collage art that is much di more difficult to replicate in uh, other arts is that texture part like you can well, combine mm. textures yeah. mm. and textures yeah. create a different look and feel yeah. as well and the images right? is all. that's because right <laughs> yeah there um, is a major so let's talk now. I'm familiar. If you can have a look at, uh, there's a couple of that pieces one. here. That one on that chair, mm -hmm. as well as this one on the, yeah, that one in particular. Mm -hmm. That's the collage that I'm familiar with, mm -hmm. where you're just kind of taking pieces and it's all kind of overlaid yep. together. But yep. the one you have with you, as well like as this one that's right beside me, is interesting to me because I think this one really tells the story more that I, I, I can interpret because mm -hmm. you actually have a figure in each mm -hmm. of these, like a character almost. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Because I see that as a different form of Yeah, movie. that's true. I think what's uh, most also interesting about this too is actually the technique. Okay. So it's a combination between two, the uh, analog and digital. Because wow. collage is not only analog, but also digital or both, a mix of both. Okay. okay. So, so what I mean by both is actually this part, this the original part is actually this one. I cut them one by one by hand first, and I stick it in a paper, right. then I scan it. Oh. And oh, after that. that, the scan, and I send it to my other artist, then he's, she's the one who combined all these oh, elements wow. out of my original art. Nice. Then we create these digital compositions of collage. Oh, so basically you can work together with yes, other Yes, artists. and we totally different technique. Oh. I am uh, a collage artist that mostly work with analog, while some other artists prefer digital, right? Oh. And maybe some are like into both. Like we have also mixed media. Mixed media is actually when you use the technique of collage, but you're using different kind of medium. Okay. Let's say you mix between paper with plastic yeah. with fabric, yeah. but with collage. Okay. So it's called mixed media. Oh, okay. By the way, okay. it's amazing that you're cutting each one of these by exactly. hand because yeah. the shapes. I mean, they're very similar, very, but you can tell the differences yeah, in each exactly. one as well. So what story would that one be telling? Yeah, this one. This one is actually this. Uh, it's a tribute for uh, Hari Kartini mm -hmm. a couple of years ago for uh, Indonesian Corruption Watch. Mm -hmm. So we're working together, uh, making like this particular uh, merchandise for the fundraising. But at the same time, we would like to talk about women and corruption, okay. if you know what I mean. So uh, in this piece of uh, art, me and my uh, Nomi Kasiana, my collaborator artist, we're talking about how empowered women. If you're empowered as a woman, it will be very difficult for you to be manipulated mm -hmm. and taking part as part of the corruption. <laughs> True. So that's how we actually taking this one uh, women character and how we actually as women have that power okay. and have that uh, ability because apparently some of the story out there is actually how women actually tend to be okay. part of the corruption cases and right. everything. Nice. But actually, I feel that, no, if you're empowered as a woman, you most likely will, you know, not and refuse to be part of the corruption. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, How many uh, female uh, artists, college, college artists here in Indonesia? Oh, okay. Wow. That's a very interesting question huh. because... Is there, is there any few <laughs> yeah. artists? Yeah. Few is a very good word. I think because... Um, even until today, as much as for the last five years, I think collage is very big in Indonesia. Yeah. Now, if you go to several cities in Indonesia, you will always, no, no, you know, you will always, but you tend to have this collective of collage artists. Oh, okay. In each city, they're going to have these free workshops for public, they're going to have an exhibitions, but the women will be just like less than 50% oh, of the whole okay. community. Still dominating by men, yeah. men then. Okay, yeah. so basically college art, it's, uh, it's like an expression. Mm -hmm. I, uh, well, uh, compared to any other art that we know, mm -hmm. that yeah. probably more popular here, like a painting, there's a genre in, in mm -hmm. the, uh, is there any genre for the college art as well? Like the, you know, like the abstract, like the, you know, something like All that. These different styles. Yeah, the styles of the, to making the yeah. art or from the story or. We have Femage. Oh, what is Femage that? Femage is <laughs> actually <laughs> feminist collage. Oh, okay. It's a collage. Femage. It's a collage that actually oh. made by women. Talk about feminism and mostly 
it's a new genre. It's a new genre, but I know very much. It's not a really big genre yeah. here, especially people not familiar with it. Right. But there is like very much, for oh. example. Very much. Oh, that's that's <laughs> I know. That's pretty. Like the sound of it. Very much. I'm a very much. I think uh, if we talk about genre, for example, I think what people see it more in a collage is actually usually the technique you use and the medium mm. that you use. Mm -hmm. Let's say. Um, we have also technique that when if you go to uh, outdoor and you see this poster and they wrap the poster yeah. yes. and then they rip they, they put it in again. It's like, like the past. Yeah, it's like also a collage. Ah, how about oh. scrapbooking? Is scrapbooking considered okay. a form of collage then? That's very interesting. I, every time I have this workshop, collage okay. workshop, people tend to ask me that. Yeah. But I think what makes it different is actually when you do scrapbooking, mm -hmm. if you notice, when you go to there's a scrapbooking shop. Okay. okay, when yes. you use yes. a particular paper, yeah. this particular material. Yeah. Uh, now, collage doesn't have that. Right. You can use whatever Less paper. Boundaries. Exactly. Oh, it's more expressive. Exactly. There's a certain rules, right, in um, uh, scrapbooking, while in collage is much more freestyling. Like, right. you could always do when whatever you want to use. Mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest okay. thing. Okay. So, um, I, I want to talk a little bit again about the, the piece that you have there mm -hmm. and the piece I have. In fact, some of these pieces, I, I, I'm starting to see it now, uh, mm -hmm. the ones with the flower petal looking thing. Mm -hmm. now, there's an interesting um, origin of those papers. Could you explain it? <laughs> yeah. So, how it's it, it's the one that makes people like, that's yours, right, Ika? That's your collage mm -hmm. because you used to tend this okay. water droplet. Like a signature. Like a water, exactly. Oh. Like water droplet shape. Yes. You know? It started when I used to make this, uh, up, up, uh, I used to make this uh, corsage, oh, okay. like flower corsage, yeah. right? At the time, I make these flower petals, like lots of them. Okay. After a couple of years, <laughs> then I got bored and I stopped. But then I started making collage as an art technique. I remember that part, then I started making them again, but this time for my own collage okay. with paper, well, paper scraps, plastic or whatever. So, yes, I literally cut every single piece of it by hand. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I can spend usually like, I used to spend like a couple of hours every day just to make them the cutouts wow. mm -hmm. and collect them by colors. Right. Mm -hmm. And every time, so every time I have this urge to make one art, I can just pick and choose. Oh, apparently okay. that's one of the, You have exactly, a lot of <laughs> because that's uh, part of the longest part actually. <laughs> <laughs> when I have oh, to cut okay. one by one. And, right. that's, <laughs> and I have to, not I have to, but I prefer to cut it in one particular size, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I do not like it to do it in a bigger size or okay. smaller size. Like right. It has to be just one. one. Just like oh, those. but people yeah, will like notice. This one, uh, yeah. yeah. Now, this, this one is interesting as well, because if you could see Shapira, yeah. it's different colors. But if you also notice, there's different like strokes, yeah. there's different yeah. kinda, uh, shades. Yeah. Yeah. Can you explain why? <laughs> because actually I'm using other artists' paper scraps. If you do this watercolor, mm -hmm. you see ten just to check yeah. either are you using the right kind of color mm -hmm. yet, and they, they the paper just scraps of paper, and after they finish, just to throw it away. Yeah. So I collect them. Yeah. And oh, I and then you use them. it. So it's so like this can be the sustainable <laughs> exactly. kind of it's art. Very green, but it's more green. I don't need color. <laughs> Because they always do that, yeah. right? To see, oh, is it dark yeah. enough? And then they'll dip and then water. throw it away. And then you have this and thing. After, yes. Yeah. And after that, just throw wow. it away, right? So, so that's a true artist. I, I literally said to my other artist friends, like, please, like, can I have some just Save your wow. <laughs> can, you just, can, can I have it? So yeah, sure. So what interesting then? What I did was that some of the um, apa, uh, experiment that I did with this kind of approaches include also that one is actually mm. how interesting, actually some paper leftovers by other artists mm -hmm. and how as an artist I respond to that. Yes. Yes. So nice. it's a conversation between two artists, right? In yes. a way. Wow. And the way we like talking to each other, oh but in kind of different. Kind what do they of say yes. when they see this? Because I'm sure they've seen it. Like, that's my scrap. Oh, really? <laughs> or they're like, I would never thought you're going to go this way. Like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, it blew their mind. Yeah. Oh, oh my oh, God. Oh, you that, can... was, that was very oh, wow. That was such a good idea. Yeah, I would never thought that you could use it that way. Uh -uh, uh -uh. And sometimes some artists just even, they already like paint good yes. piece on it, but just if you like it, yeah. just throw it away, oh right? My God. Yeah, so I have like, sometimes I just like put it in my social media, like if you have some files and we just like drop it, it. <laughs> give you something for it. And you send me stuff. Oh my God. Like in envelopes. And Amazing. I was like, oh, this is so cool. You can get the benefits out of that. And those artists will, oh my God, I wish I could do better. Yeah. You know <laughs> but what you not say, right? Throwing out my art pieces of art. The, the, the one, one artist trash is another artist. <laughs> exactly. Ah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, um, since you 
2009, you have been involved in numerous exhibitions, not only here, but only, uh, but also in international label, uh, art, scorder, boards. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your opinion about Indonesia's creative um, industry, especially the scene? I think um, I'm starting to make my first <laughs> exhibition is in, 2000, in 2009. Mm. Uh, and I've been really happy to see how the collage art itself grow in Indonesia, seeing the amount of the number of this uh, collage artist collectives in variety of cities in Indonesia, but also now we have um, more collage artists in a contemporary scene in Indonesia, uh, and the variety of techniques, which is, I think that's very important, although at the same time I feel that we still need more... Uh, this is a very simple case, for example. We do not even have an equal access to collage material. Oh. What I'm saying is, for example, if we live in Jakarta, for us to get a National Geographic used editions is easy, right? Yes. Uh -oh. You cannot get it at all outside of... Is that right? Yeah. So for those collage artists, if they would like to use this one particular magazine for their collage, they couldn't have it. What? Because it's not even exist in their place. Right. Oh. Okay. So what we've been trying to do, for example, I belong to this Collage ID. It's a one uh, an online community oh. for collage enthusiasts in Indonesia. So what we did was we actually like the way we support each other is actually, would you like me to shop for you oh. here? Yes. Yeah. In Jakarta. Yeah. Oh, so they usually them. like, yeah, because I think it's interesting also, I can understand the, the need to, to for as a collage artist to use particular materials, yeah. but you do not even have the access. Oh, even the use, sad. like use magazines yeah. or bookshop is not yeah. even exist there. Yes. So how are they going to have, okay. you know, the access to the magazines, oh, okay. right? So yeah. I think it's also interesting to see how there's so many uh, empowering at the same time we can do this to support each other as yes, an artist right in Indonesia and uh, as much as I love how now we have uh, explorations by other artists individually or collective in terms of collage but I still think that the the, the capacity or the potential mm -hmm. of this art itself it could be much bigger later right mm -hmm. yes of course can can actually we learn to make a collage <laughs> of oh, course yeah okay. now it's like either I, I I teach a lot of collage oh. workshops, okay. uh, either for private or for community or for even my own project. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think I think one of the e most easiest mm -hmm. way to do it because you just like put some magazines, yeah. paper and glue, right? Yeah. And people are like, I think I can do that. I, mean, I can yeah. try doing that. Yeah. So I think it's been interesting to see how amaze and surprise yeah. people after they make a piece of yeah. collage art yeah. because they never thought that I would never thought I could make something. Ah, like you know what? Yeah, the first thing came out in, in my mind about the collage is not an art. Mm. It, do you remember about Surat Kaleng? Yeah. When people like, yeah, yeah. you know, when, they, when they, they of the word, exactly, cut they, outs, right? well, oh, they combat right? yeah. each letter, uh -huh. they, they, so basically the they, kidnap they letter. exactly, the kidnap letter, 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 yeah, yeah. they put all the yeah, letters yeah. from different yeah. source, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's a collage too, it, it is, is. Collage. it's one of the earliest form of collage ah, actually that right. we are familiar with, yeah. Yeah, because that's one of their way for not being be able to trace by the handwriting, right? Yes. Right. Right. Yeah, but that's actually a collage. That's the collage. That that's takes a right? lot of work, right? Exactly. Just to find oh my each god! Other. To find the right one, exactly. the colors, exactly. and then put it together. Oh, it doesn't yes. look good. Yes. And then we what? We do it again. <laughs> you cannot undo. Right? Exactly. You cannot oh, shift. Right. Yeah, you, you have cannot. to use the scissors. Very <laughs> small scissors. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I remember those days. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you were <laughs> Oh, actually, I'm a Vermont. I'm sorry. Vermont. Vermont. So you just celebrated <laughs> World Collage Day oh. 2023. This was earlier this yes. month. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, there's much more and more interest. And I find this amazing because, you know, again, they say art is very therapeutic. Only if you know how to draw. Or yeah. But this is not nope. like for everyone. Yes, so you just exactly. Level. You can just make your own yeah. collage. Not everyone can draw. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's so here. true. So, what have you got uh, upcoming this year? Then this year is still young. Okay. Um, actually, interestingly, this year I've um, involving in some of this commission installations, interactive with public, nice. uh, working together with some organizations and NGOs. Uh, we're talking about some of the topics to talk about uh, health facility in Indonesia. Cool. And we'll also talk about discrimination toward uh, gender minority. Oh, yeah. Sex yeah. in Indonesia. And we're also now, uh, I'm also uh, having another, I'm continuing with my work called Word for Women, where oh. I collect um, 
word that describe women nice. in our daily language through collage making. Wow. So I literally moved from one place to another hosting this free collage workshop for people where they just answer one of my, this is one question, what is this one word that reminds you of women? So they're going to make a collage about it and share the stories. I've been doing it since 2015. Oh, cool. So now I've been collecting like 500 wow. collages wow. in more than like 30, 50 exhibitions. No, 50 workshops all over Indonesia. Wow. So yeah, I think I'm going to continue with that because I'm thinking of publishing uh, a book about the that findings. I think it'll be very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, the way, the, how actually we talk about women in our daily language, but yeah. through collage, like yeah. we see in a collage maybe. Yeah. And it'll be much, I, I think for some people, you know, sometimes words, it's just words. Yeah, we, we need a, our own code. We have a different form of expression. Exactly. <laughs> to be able to see it better. Through so, the collage. Wow, so cool. Yeah, so if you guys do want to know more, I was just uh, browsing through your Instagram. <laughs> it's at collage.id. Yes. So please do check it out yes. if you're interested to know more. Yes. Okay, it's been great to have you on. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you for bringing me yeah, here. It's really enlightening, yeah. you know, eye-opening as well. So basically, we we have a talent, Fox. We do. We're finally good at something. <laughs> <laughs> we all artists. How about Fox? Yeah, yeah something cool. like that. So no. <laughs> Michael, thank you so much. Thank you. So you. happy to have you yeah, here. Speaking have about you. the art. Yeah. Ah, right. Now I know that uh, speaking about art, it's not always about something that's very... It has to be hard right. and uh, uh, hard to understand, yeah. exclusive. So basically, people can do it, right. but uh, with the right intentions, yeah. like what she did. Absolutely. <laughs> Amazing. All right, we're going to take another short break here on the program, uh, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more, and you can also get all of your updates online with us via Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at C Today News. We'll be right back.